Hi guys, it's Des back to talk to you about um, some more knots. Um, so this evening we've been talking about hitches. The different types of knot we can use to tie uh, to to poles and to objects to hold, you know, to hold something to an object. And the example we've obviously given is tying up a boat, um, a boat to um, a boat to the dock. Um, so the next knot we're going to talk about this evening is the clove hitch. Um, this is a re another relatively simple knot. It's very it's adjustable and it's a quick release um, way of tying a, a knot to, to a clate or a post like this. Um, it is essentially just two successive half hitches and we'll show you how to tie that in a second. Um, and it's what you call a crossing knot because of the way the half hitches, hitches lie. Um, it isn't the best knot for tying a boat to uh, a dock because it can work loose under a sort of repeated jerking tension and we'll, we'll show you that. Um, but it is quite quick and easy to tie. So you'd normally see this used to tie a fender um, to a boat. So if you're tying a fender on and you'd normally say have the, on, on sailboats, you would have sort of a wire reel going round uh, around the front. You'll find on this wire reel, you'll find a clove hitch in place to tie a, a fender on and to, to then sit down in the, in the water and protect the, uh, protect the side of the boat because it's quick and easy to do and quick and easy to take off. So how do we tie a clove hitch? Um, first thing is, this is our loaded end of the rope. Here is the tail, the working end. We're going to go round um, the post um, or object we're tying to and we're then going to cross over ourselves. So you can see here how I've crossed over and come back round one more time. And you can quite clearly and distinctively see there I've made, I've made an X um, with the rope. Um, we're then going to come back and through and underneath that X. Nice and simple, nice and easy and tighten off. So you can see there how we have the, the, the working end, the flapping end, the loaded end with the fender or whatever it is on it, um, and this then tied off to the to the to to the post. Um, so this can um, with time and that sort of jerking action can work loose and work free. So it's not something you want to do as a, a long term knot and it's not something I would ever really advise using to tie off the boat because that sort of way of action like that, lifting it and it's slipping through could be quite um, quite quite negative um, as your cock shouts you and tells you to run after the boat. It's also not great on a square object. So obviously here we have a, a, a round piece of wood um, and, on, and on a, a, a yacht, as we discussed, this would be a, a, normally a round, a round reel. Um, and so it's fine on round objects because you get friction all the way around, but in a square object because of the sharp corners and um, the friction doesn't seem to grip um, as well and can lead to it slipping when it's loaded. Its advantage though is it's relatively simple and easy. If you find you've you got at the end of this cable here a fender down in the water that's against the between the boat and the uh, and the pontoon, and you realise you need to bring that fender up and move it down, it's really quite simple and easy to adjust a knot. You just feed through this way and tighten up that way, or vice versa. If you need to lengthen it, you feed through that way. You tighten up this way. So that's quite handy because it makes it quick and simple to adjust things. Um, if you um, if you need to. Um, there is also another cheats way um, of tying this knot. This was taught to me as uh, uh, many years ago. If you have, unlike here, we've got a fixed pillar that we need to get onto. Um, so for this bit, we've taken it, we've taken a rope over, round, crossed over, back round once more. And you can see that clear, distinctive cross or X in the knot and then through one last time to give us that nice clear clove hitch and remember what I talked about if it looks good it probably is good well it looks good to me and you can clearly see how the tension in this rope here clamps down on these two bits and holds that tight and gives us a good knot so that's the that's the way to do it here you can add a little bit more um, security to that. You could put a stopper knot in if you had enough tail um, on, on, on this bit. Um, obviously I haven't got enough, enough tail left to do that, but if you did, you could put a stopper knot in here that, that would help uh, prevent it slipping through. Um, but if you're going as far as doing that, why don't you tie a round turn of two half edges? So the cheat's way, where you've got a post sticking up like that that you can slide something over is, you take a look and you take another loop. 
Um, I'm sure those of you that have just seen me do that will see on this loop the two ends coming down, one's going over the top, one's coming over the bottom. You then cross these over with the one on the bottom coming to the top and the one on the top going to the bottom. And that little hole you've got there then slips over your post and tightens up nicely like that. Dead quick, dead simple, dead easy, you know, two seconds and you've thrown that together and got it and got it around a post if you've got a sticking up post like that that you need to tie onto. So let me show you that one more time. We see our little post sticking up, we realise we need to tie off to that, quick and easy not to do that. And we take one loop um, with the, 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 the standing end coming, coming over the, at the top, another loop with the standing end coming uh, on the bottom. We cross those over with the bottom end going over the top of the top end and this hole in the middle then gets fed over our bar and we have a beautiful simple quick clove hitch nice and easy and again it's one of those little knots when people are standing looking at you tying a knot and you always feel self-conscious of it when, when, you're, when you're tying a knot and you've got to tie something up and people are like get on with it get on with it you just do that little you can do it without even looking at it because you can feel yourself doing it and you do that quickly and professionally people are going as someone that knows how to handle ropes and they sort of get an opinion an impression of you as a as a mariner um, of your competence through little things and um, little things like that so definitely one to to practice too